Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the finale episode and what is going on with the finale because we've had lots of questions recently because we heard that filming didn't finish, then we heard rumours they're going to mix the episodes together, then some people were like, no, they're going to stick it out, they're going to do like a 30 minute finale and they're just going to cut it shorter. And some people were like, oh, they're going to get back to film some extra stuff. But in today's video, we've got basically the definitive answer around all of that. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, the Supergirl finale, we've had a lot of questions about this and we've still got a lot of questions about going into season six. But what we did get was an interview from people.tv and you've seen a few interviews go online with some of the cast members they've done some home comic con stuff i think it's called like they were live streaming on twitch there was some one-on-one -on -one chats with members of the supergirl cast so there has been some talk about some of this we've been hearing rumors here and there from fans and from people who know a bit more but now we've got this definitive answer from john crier who did this interview with people.tv and so they talk about how they're handling the gaps in production and how they're handling the finale because, you know, they weren't able to finish shooting the finale. We knew that a long time ago when they cut production. Canada Graphs actually told me, he specifically said, I think it was like three or four days that they couldn't finish filming. So they had some footage. They got enough footage to mold together a new sort of finale. But basically they didn't have enough to actually complete it as a whole. Otherwise, you know, it would be missing some of the important chunks because as you know they don't shoot it chronologically they will shoot like the scenes that they can get first then they'll go to the studio film the rest or they'll come back outside film the rest depending on the day so basically they probably missed a large chunk of the finale that was really important and so they've sort of molded how they were going to end it kind of to episode 19 so john was asked this in the interview how are they handling gaps in production and he says yes the showrunners talked to him about the finale, they talked to him about the rest of the season, and I'm paraphrasing right here, and they're going to use some of the footage as they couldn't finish shooting the finale, but they shot a chunk of it, so they're going to use some of that footage, and they're going to rewrite a bunch of stuff, write some new stuff around episode 19, and it's either going to be a longer episode, this is just me theorizing, or it's going to be they're going to cut down some of the episode 19 stuff and they're going to cram in the episode 20 stuff and it's going to be a one big finale or they can make it like a kind of longer episode where it'll be like an hour or so but I don't know how that would work with the scheduling so I'm presuming the CW is going to cut it down to 45 minutes as they do per usual and cut out some of the sort of excess stuff in episode 19. So the way he words it he says they're going to be writing a whole bunch of new stuff around it they can't write extra stuff unless they're doing it all digitally. They're, you know, digitally making it like via CGI. And I think that's really impossible. So the way I sort of interpreted what John was saying in this interview with him saying they're writing a whole bunch of stuff around it is I think that they're editing around it. They're making a new story from some of the stuff. And I guess you could say they're writing it because they're shaping it in a different way from how episode 19 would have been and now they've got the footage from the finale, they are writing it in a different way so they can reshape it and retool it so it's something different. I think that's definitely what he was referring to, but it seemed like, you know, maybe they were writing some new stuff, like physically writing a new script and, you know, filming some extra stuff, but no, that's not what they're doing. And so he says in the interview, and this is massive, so obviously there was plans for the finale, there was plans for episode 19, they filmed all of episode 19, they got most of 20 done, so obviously there was a proper ending arc planned out for all of the main characters, including Lex, who obviously John plays, so apparently Lex was supposed to be thwarted, aka defeated, by the end of the season in the finale, but the way they couldn't film all of it has changed his destiny, so the way that Lex was thwarted has changed, and he doesn't get defeated, John says in this interview. So he was going to be defeated, but due to the changes that they're having to make, Lex isn't going to be defeated. That is what you can take away from this interview, obviously, with the finale completely changing and it being mushed into one episode rather than two episodes of the penultimate and a finale. You're going to see Lex actually not be defeated. And potentially if Lex turns out to be the main villain for the rest of the season with episodes 17, 18, 19 and what would have been 20. So we've only got like three episodes left. 
if he turns out to be that main villain, the main villain won't be defeated and this will be a massive change from what we've had in the past because every season the villain is defeated and you get a new villain maybe teased at the end of the finale or sort of introduced towards you know the start of the next season so what happens if Lex does turn out to be the main villain he overtakes Leviathan even though Leviathan aren't that much of a big thing right now they're still in the background but they're going to come more to the foreground this next episode that Melissa directed and that means that the destiny and the way that the finale was supposed to end maybe the cliffhanger or maybe just towards the end of the episode has all changed so from this we can presume that Lex is probably going to be around in season six John specifically said he's not been defeated. This is a good thing for him because he's going to be able to stick around at least for a bit. He will be able to show up again because he's not going to be defeated or he's not going to be dead or whatever, however they plan to actually defeat him. So yeah, we can presume that season six will have Lex and what they could do is continue what they plan to do in the finale, bring it into the start of the next season and maybe Lex gets defeated in the first few episodes. That's always a possibility and that's a possibility with all the other shows if they don't finish their finales and get back filming on time by the time they have to film the next season, could be seeing some continuation from the previous seasons, a bit like how Black Lightning does it, like they don't get rid of their villains at all basically over the past few seasons and you could see this with some of the shows, so I guess this is probably going to happen to Lex, he may get defeated next season or they may sort of rewrite this whole story so that Lex can continue to appear regularly. And so basically the other main thing you can take out of the interview that John did is that this is definitely episode 19, that is the finale. Episode 20 is mixed into it, episode 20 obviously had enough footage so that they can, you know, mould an ending around it, but they didn't have enough so they could actually have like one full episode that's 45 minutes long or something like that. So definitely episode 19 is the finale of the season. Next episode is episode 17, then you got 18, and then you got 19. So that's only three episodes. And episode 17 comes back, this is Melissa's episode, at the start of May. And so you will have that first episode, then you have a week, and then you'll have another week. And it's going to be airing back to back, so it will be finished by the end of May. But then we have to talk about the possibility of Supergirl not coming back next season for season 6 until, you know, the mid-season, like January 2021 or February 2021. Because of, as you know, we've talked about this many times on this channel, Supergirl was supposed to film and start their new season this month in April. Like, they would have started like a week ago or so, and they would have been filming till around early June. Then they would have stopped and they would have returned after Melissa's maternity leave in November, sometime around then. And with them filming right now, that means they would have had about five episodes in the can after, you know, filming for just a little bit over a month, probably before they take their long break. And you would have seen a normal return in October. You know, first few weeks of October is normally when we get our episodes, our premiere episodes for the new seasons. And you would have seen the episodes come out then. You would have had five episodes or so. And then by the time they return sort of towards the end of October or towards the start of November, they would have had episodes to play whilst they begin production once again with the filming so they could actually catch up and they would be able to catch up so they wouldn't have had to start the mid-season in 2021 or anything like that. But now it seems like it's probably likely that episode one won't actually get started till around November time and they would be definitely playing catch up so they won't try to air in December or something like that they would just have to wait until the mid season so that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching sorry for the little bit of a recap around what's happening with Supergirl's next season towards the end of this video but I felt it was definitely necessary to remind you guys as to exactly what's going on because it makes sense when we're talking about the finale and what has changed talking about the next season and the plans and how everything is probably going to happen. Again, it could happen anyway, but this is the logical way that it's all going to plan out and shape out for Supergirl in Season 6, which is a big shame, obviously, but hey, what can you say? I'm just super excited for Melissa to have this baby and to have a kid. I think it's the most exciting thing, so I don't put anything on her and I'm willing to wait because this is a great thing for her and I'm sure all of you guys agree. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.